Alright, now let us learn about single slit. Okay, single slit falls under the category of diffraction. Uh, previously, we have learned about interference. Okay, let us look back what we have learned. Um, okay, previously we learned about interference. Interference has two uh, double slits and thin film. Okay, right now we going into uh, diffraction, which has single slit and diffraction grating. Okay. So diffraction, uh, now we first, we learn about single slit, okay. So double slit is uh, under interference. Uh, for single slit is for, is under diffraction, yeah, diffraction. Okay, how do the single slit diffraction form, yeah? What's the formation of single slit diffraction? Okay, let us look, look at uh, the notes here. Uh, according to Huygen principle, Okay, let us look at. Yeah, according to Huygen principle, the wavefront from um wavefront from light source falls on a narrow slit. Yeah. yeah, let me write out. Yeah, yeah, fall on a narrow slit. Okay, and then diffraction occurs. Uh, yeah, it has only uh, one narrow slit. Yeah, one narrow slit, not two, but one. Every point on the wavefront, okay, every point uh, on the wavefront that, uh, that falls on the slit acts as a source of secondary wavelet, uh, become the sources of secondary wavelet uh, that superpose with each other to form an interference pattern uh, on the screen. Uh, okay, so every point, like this is the uh, single slit, just one slit. So uh, the wave the wavefront that falls onto the slit, okay, each point on the each point on the wavefront become the source of secondary wavelet. Uh, like you see here, here there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six points. But actually there are countless points here, not just six points. Uh, this six point is just uh, like representative lah. Okay. So each point on this wavefront produce secondary wavelet. Uh, produce secondary wavelet. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, they superpose with each other. So what I can say is, uh, all of them they uh, previously you learn about this Huygen principle. Okay. Uh, uh, just like this one. You see that? Uh, just like this one. Yeah. This sec uh, it form a secondary wa secondary wavelet, and then the each of these wavelet overlap. Yeah. Uh, the tangent, the line tangent to it, uh, form a secondary wave wavefront. You see that? Uh, and then this wavefront, each point, uh, produce their own wavelet again, and then uh, the tangent to it cover all the wavelet become a tertiary wavefront. Uh, that's how it, um, yeah. That's how it the diffraction occurs. Yeah, as you can see at the side here. Um, Circle, you know, in the shape of circle. Uh, this means uh, about diffraction. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it form diffraction, lah. Yeah. Actually, we can say each wave, uh, each of these wave, they superpose. Um, they superpose. Uh, actually, they form wavelet. Yeah. Uh, they become source. Yeah. We can say that uh, not just one source. Yeah. Each point on this wavefront. They be, they has many sources of wave, not just not just two sources, not just one source, but the many source of wave. Uh, so we can say uh, this um, uh, we can regard as like uh, they superpose with each other, and then we can see uh, this uh, bright fringe, dark fringe form on the screen. Yeah, I will explain more in detail how to form the dark bright fringe and dark fringe on the screen. Yeah. Uh, Right now, uh, this is just the diffraction. Uh, the the point here is the each uh, every point on this wavefront, yeah, become the source of secondary wavelet. Uh, that's how the diffraction occurs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, diffraction most obvious uh, at one condition. Yeah. At what condition does the diffraction uh, become more obvious? Okay. Like right now here, the first example is just an obstacle. Obstacle. So this one has least diffraction. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the wave practically is still uh, still plane wave. Yeah, it's just still a plane wave. Uh, however, now the wave pass through a slit. 
but this slit the size of the slit width uh, is still very big yeah a a means the size of the slit yeah a means uh, the size of the slit okay now if the size of the slit is uh, bigger than the wavelength lambda uh, the diffraction uh, is still little yeah you see the wave um, still plane wave not a circular wave yet yeah uh, not a circular wave yet means diffraction is still uh, at the very least amount okay but if the size of the slit is almost equal to the wavelength okay or smaller than the wavelength uh, then you can see most diffraction occurs most diffraction because uh, you can see initially it's a plane wave now it become a circular wave uh, yeah, from plane wave become a circular wave means uh, a lot of diffraction happens. Yeah, especially at the side there. Yeah, a lot of diffraction happens. Okay, now uh, one more thing. Um, okay, uh, single slit. You just re need to remember uh, the the wave that pass through the slit. Uh, each point on the on the wave that pass through the slit become uh, each of them become. Uh, uh, source uh, source of wave uh, so that here there are many many source of wave yeah uh, this is very important yeah why I say uh, there are many many sources of wave here because after that you can see uh, we will divide into parts to consider uh, each of these wave yeah to consider each of these wave uh, right now uh, the concept you must have is each point on this wavefront that arrive at this slit each point become source of wave so since there are millions there are millions of particles uh, at the slit there many millions of particles at the slit here yeah on the medium on the slit here so there are millions of wave there are millions sources of wave uh, formed by this each of these points uh, and they this each of these waves will interact with each other, interact with each other until they form this uh, a pattern of bright and dark fringe. Okay, and how to form this pattern of bright and dark fringe, I will explain later. Yeah. Now, uh, look at this uh, single slit diffraction pattern. Uh, you see the center is a central bright fringe. It does, it has the highest intensity compared to other bright fringe. Other bright fringe is so. The intensity is so low. Very, if you look at this screen here, you see the central bright is the widest, the widest. Uh, but at, uh, at the side there, the bright fringe is almost very pale, very low intensity. Yeah, almost like no, almost like becoming dark already. Why like that? I will explain also. Yeah, why like why the center is the brightest, but why the the side here is like almost become very dim already. Yeah. Uh, so if you compare to the double slit, if you compare to double slit, it's different. Compared to double slit, uh, the intensity is still almost equal. You see, the, the central bright with the first bright and the second bright, the intensity is still almost equal like this one. You see, intensity is almost equal. Uh, as you can see like this, a zebra line you can see. Uh, a regular interval zebra line. Unlike the, unlike the uh, single slit, uh, the single slit, the center is the brightest. The side here is almost like disappear already, the brightness. Okay, that's the difference between single slit diffraction and double slit. Okay, I will explain more about these differences later. Right now, I want you to uh, focus on this. Um, yeah, as you can see here, we have a central bright. And we don't put that as zero order. Ah, we don't put that as zero order. Yeah, here we don't take that as zero order. You see, the zero order is missing. Ah, so you see the single slit. Actually, we uh consider it start from positive and negative one. Ah, there's no there's no zero order. There's no zero order for single slit. No zero order. Ah, yeah, for single slit. Um, the zero order not exists. Uh, okay, it start for single slit. It start from first order. Uh, why? I will explain about the about the equations. Yeah, 
uh, it is because uh, according to the uh, equation derived, yeah, the, the the order start from one. Yeah, unlike the double slit, double slit uh, it start from zero. Uh, you see that double slit is start from zero order. Yeah, for single slit it start from one. Uh, single slit it start from one. Uh, and then for single slit the order you use a different alphabet. You use end. But it still mean the same thing. This uh, N it still means order. Yeah. Uh, for double slit, double slit, um, double slits. Uh, the the order start from zero. Okay, and so on. Okay. Uh, this uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, so this uh this the m also means order yeah same same meaning yeah but single slit diffraction they use uh n as the order okay uh, so double slit start from zero okay double slit start from zero but single slit start from one uh why like that i will explain uh, when deriving the equations okay now so the central bright uh, last time for double slit the central bright is considered zero order bright fringe but for single slit uh, it does not belong to anyone not belong to bright fringe or dark fringe okay central bright is just central bright no order okay it has no order okay uh, what you can see here is the first order dark fringe is the first dark fringe the first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe ah you see this one, the dark and the bright fringe, it follow the order. Follow the order. Bright fringe also follow the order. Huh? Dark fringe follow the order. Bright fringe also follow the order. So you see here. Look at here. Uh, when we want to talk about the order, the bright fringe, the first order bright fringe is considered the first bright fringe. The number yeah, is considered the first bright fringe. The second order bright fringe is considered as the second bright fringe. Uh, it follow the order. The number follow the order. Uh, the dark fringe also follow the order. You see that? Uh, the first order dark fringe is the first dark fringe. The second order dark fringe is the second dark fringe. It's different from, um, from the double slit. Look at the double slit. Uh, you see, look at the double slit. What's the difference? Uh, for the double slit, this is the double slit. The bright fringe, okay. For the bright fringe, the uh, the first order, yeah, the first order is the first bright fringe, okay. Follow the bright fringe still follow, but the dark fringe plus one. The first order dark fringe is the second dark fringe. Uh, it's the second dark fringe. It's not the first dark fringe. You see the difference? Do you see the difference? Uh, maybe I should uh, copy this one and goes here. Yeah, and then you can see the comparisons. Yeah, uh, maybe over here. Uh, see that? Uh, this is the this is the single. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is the single slit, and this is the double slit. Uh, do you see the difference? Okay. Uh, for the double slits, for double slits, it has zero order, okay? But single slit doesn't have zero order, yeah? Uh, double slit start from zero order, single slit start from one, first order, okay? Double slit use M, single slit use N, okay? And then one more thing, uh, you can see here, uh, if bright fringe is the same, follow the order. You see that? Follow the order. Only the dark, dark fringe, the single slit follow the order, but the double slit plus one. Ah, can you see the difference? Ah, you see, ah, for the double slit, the first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe. For the single slit, the first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe. Ah, still the same, lah. Okay, you follow the order. The number follow the order. Ah, um, however, if you look at the dark fringe, you look at the dark fringe. Uh, the first order, the first order dark fringe is the second dark fringe. Have to plus one. Second order dark fringe. But the, for the single slit, the second order dark fringe. No, no, no. You see that? Uh, for double slit, 
the first order dark fringe is the second dark fringe but for single slit the first order dark fringe is the first dark fringe not the second dark fringe ah uh, for single slit the dark fringe uh, it follow the order but for double slit the dark fringe the number dark fringe uh, plus one compared to the order uh, compared to the order so that, that's just a difference for bright fringe both is the same follow the order but for the dark fringe uh, double slit plus one single slit follow the order actually i have already summarized uh, about the differences here yeah if you look at uh, the uh, i haven't discussed about this number of fringes versus order uh, i already compare between these three things yeah compare about double slit single slit and diffraction grating yeah so as you can see uh, i will i will uh, explain about this later on okay but i here i just want to let you roughly see yeah for double slit start from zero order same as diffraction grating uh, which you will learn later on the order also start from zero only the single slit start from first order uh, only the single slit start from first order why like that because it depends it uh, it is uh, related to the equations yeah of single slit the bright fringe all follow the order the bright fringe all follow the order um, and then but the dark fringe uh, the double slit you have to plus one but for single slit follow the order uh, uh, diffraction grating we don't consider about the dark fringe we don't consider for diffraction grating only consider about the bright fringe uh, okay uh, this is practically uh, summarize everything already so i will talk about this later on uh, and give examples now uh, let's go back to this single slit okay uh, so you see here yeah? uh, see look at identify it yeah identify it so this is the single slit uh, the central bright fringe has no order at all it's not the zero order it's not zero order because single slit has no zero order okay and then the next one is the first order dark fringe which is also the first dark fringe huh? follow order the dark fringe follow uh, the number of dark fringe follow the order unlike the double slit have to plus one you see that uh, okay uh, this one actually this one dark fringe plus one is because that dark fringe don't have uh, central dark fringe that's why it plus one uh, the central bright fringe the central fringes is already taken by the bright fringe uh, the zero order bright fringe that's why uh, the dark fringe uh, have to plus one for for double slit okay single slit is different cases yeah single slit okay let's look at look back uh, the central bright fringe has no order at all not the zero order and then followed by the first order dark fringe which is the first dark fringe and then we the next one is the first order uh, it has no zero order uh, bright fringe has no zero order uh, the first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe uh, you see and then the next one second order dark fringe is the second dark fringe the second order bright fringe is the second bright fringe uh, so practically it's for single seat it follow the order all right no zero order okay so that's all for the first videos about the order yeah this order i will come back later uh, to make a comparison between uh, all three uh, double slit single slit and diffraction grating uh, i will explain clearer and the differences in the fringes the interference pattern the diffraction pattern and interference pattern i mean the dif diffraction pattern by the single slit and interference pattern by the double slit i will explain again later on okay so that's all for the first video the next video we will going to discuss about how to form the equations for single slit all right thank you very much